Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get themed keyboards for iPhones, iPads, iPod Touches. Let's get started. Alright, we're going to... First of all, we're going to go to Cydia. And then when you get to the city uh, homepage, you're not going to go search or anything. You're going to scroll down until you see more package sources. You're going to scroll down until you see, it's going to say I access. It's going to blur what's right there. It's going to pop up. Any second now. Alright, well when this does eventually pop up, you're just going to install it. Well, I already have it installed. So, after you have it installed, you're going to... It's going to bring you to this icon here. And you're going to click on it. And this thing's going to pop up. And you're going to click OK. Well, when you first do it, it's going to shut you out of the app. It's going to just take you back to right here. You're going to power off. You're going to power off your iPhone, iPod, iPad. And then you're going to turn it back on. And once you turn it back on, it's going to send you another message. It's going to be a little bit longer this one. You're going to click it again. It's going to bring you back out one more time. Then you're going to open it back up. And then it's going to show you this message. And what you're going to do, don't switch it to English. Leave this one checked on. And turn all, like, most of these are going to be on. Turn them all off. Except for this one here at the bottom. Except for that one. And that one. Okay, after you're done with that, you're going to go back to Cydia. And, oh, and there it looks. The source finally popped up. Alright, then you're going to go to Manage Sources. And you're going to want to add a source. It's there. I'll put it in the description. But I'll also tell you, it's http colon forward slash forward slash cydia dot my repo space dot com forward slash mk three two one zero two four forward slash and again I'll put that in the description so once you got that download you're gonna want to click on it and it gives you a bunch of other things what you want to do is you want to stay in the keyboards. And so there's a couple you can download and get the eye, the storm. So you're going to, I'll do the pink one. Or I'll, I'll, I'll set that on the green one down. I'll download the green one. Let this download. ACDC right there. Okay, um, turn to Cydia. And then you're gonna go into Winter Ward, which I hope you have. Select themes. And, well, right now I have iPink KB 4.0 installed. But I'll show you iGreen KB because I just downloaded that one. So you're gonna click it, you're gonna respring. And what iAccess is doing is it's it's taking your original keyboard, it's getting rid of it, and then it's uh, putting these themes on top of their keyboard. So you no longer have the original Apple iPod key. Alright, so don't freak out when you scroll over and like all this didn't work. You're going to go here, you're going to 
even if you have like emoji icons up, you're just gonna click this world. Oh, you're gonna click the world. If you have emoji, it'll bring you to emoji. Uh, you click the world again, and boom, look, there's my green keyboard. Fully working. And don't fret if you want to get back. All you do is you need to click the numbers. And this is going to bring you to here. You're going to click the numbers again. And you're going to click the world. And see, now I'm back to the original. Sometimes it, um, it glitches, but they're working on it. Um, it doesn't glitch at all when you're texting. It only has glitches when you're doing uh, web browsing and stuff. But yeah, that's how you get iAccess keyboards. If you want to get anything else, or if you want to need, if you have any questions or need any help, just send me a message, and I will help you out. All right, thanks.